Okay, I feel the need to remind you guys that I have a Twitter. Okay, enough said. Um, no, nah. <laughs> uh, legit, go follow my Twitter if you want to keep up with stuff I'm doing because soon I'll be streaming and that's probably the best place to stay updated. Uh, but yeah, okay, so for this game, I went ham with some experimentation on Kha'Zix. We got some juicy jumps in, but for the main focus of this video, it's really just me theory crafting some fun stuff to try out. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so this is an experimental game and well, needless to say, I think it went pretty well. Um, I have decided to switch up my room page in this game just because, fuck man, <laughs> I like I've had some pretty bad games in the past, like my 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 past few games with Kazix have been not great. So every time I have those bad games, I'm just like, okay, maybe there's maybe there's a different setup I could try that would net me more success in the game, and I'm like, all right. Let's try this crazy setup. We'll go with Dark Harvest and we'll run Precision Second with Alacrity Kubdegar. And we're also running the Attack Speed Shard. So I've just gone ham with the uh, theory crafting here. And I'm just trying to kind of pick a build that I enjoy and is actually quite viable and just stick with it. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. I didn't plan on starting top here because uh, but, but since Elawi was like, oh, heavy leash you, then I was like, okay, I'll take that heavy leash, no worries. By the way, if you notice that I sound a little bit different or maybe louder, then, um, oh, there's a lag spike. Yep, forgot to mention that. My new, <laughs> I seem to disconnect every now and then. Now, I don't really know why, but it's whatever. But yeah, as I was saying, I sound a little bit different because I have a different mic setup and... Uh, you know, hopefully it sounds a little better, slash louder, slash, you know, clearer, I don't know, but we'll see how it goes, let me know if you guys like it, um, because I definitely want to maybe kind of stick with this, but we'll see. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a four camp clear, I should really have done a three camp clear, because my, my focus was to actually go bot lane and gank bot, so, um, that's what I was doing here. Just gonna finish up this blue, and because we have a Kaiser Nautilus, it's a very good gank lane. Um, Nautilus especially, like, it's just so easy for him to lock down someone, and easy for me to just go and burst him down. And here we go, here's our first gank. So, want to play a bit more aggressive, and that's why I'm going down here. But as opposed to just full clearing when I have a very good gank lane. We missed those Ws, there it is! <laughs> oh my god, but it's fine, we still get him. And we pick ourselves up a double kill we're just right off the bat in three minutes that's fucking huge like that's really huge for me um because this enables me to get my special little item that i'm going to buy very soon uh way earlier on into the game so uh we'll take that and um now i'm just gonna finish up my crab and then i think i go into my gromp yeah so i go into my gromp just to get my level four uh, I could potentially invade the Nidalee, but the thing is, I don't know if her raptors are up or not, and odds are, they are most definitely up. So, I don't want to get caught out in that situation where, like, there's nothing for me to take, or the Nidalee's there and I get collapsed on, so that's why I choose not to invade in that scenario, but it turns out she's topside, so it's whatever. Okay, now I just recall and pick up my level 4. Yes, sorry, not level 4. Well, yeah, I am level 4, but I actually buy a tier mat, so this is crazy, right? So many people will, will hate me for this. Like, if this video gets linked in, like, the Kha'Zix Mains Discord, and some Kha'Zix Man sees it, or someone sees it, they're gonna be like, <laughs> they're just trolling. What the fuck? Tier mat? Really? And the answer is yes. <laughs> My answer to that is just yes. Um, I don't actually think tier mat rush is that bad. I really don't think it's that bad, because um, the active is really nice. Uh, but if it didn't have the active, then obviously um, I don't think it would be as good. But it actually feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie. So again, this is just an experimenting game. I'm trying shit out because my previous play styles and setups were not working in the in the games that I was playing. So I'm just trying with this, and uh, there's even more innovation to come, baby. Trust me. <laughs> 
Uh, I just I feel like I'm gonna get so much hate for for doing this. Not hate, just like people are going to be questioning my sanity after this one. <laughs> so <clears throat> I go for just some more jungle clear clearing, and I just end up going for. I think I do want to part down top. Turn just was stuttering like mad. Okay, hang on. Okay, so. What I kind of wanted to do is go down bot again and try for another gank, but I'm not sure if this will work out because, uh, you know, they're playing very safe, obviously, now that just, they got double killed by me. And I'm kind of looking here to see if I can do anything, maybe invade the Nidalee. I did see the Nidalee on her Raptors, so uh, me using that plant there to reveal her on the Krogs is very good. And I was hoping the, the Yone could ulti the Ari and then we just burst her down so that was my plan here that's why I'm kind of waiting here but turns out Nidalee comes along and uh, she's not watching <laughs> and I just kind of burst her down really tragic actually I, sh I, I die here in the process but um, yeah let me see this is the problem I have I don't like the attack speed rune because it makes you so weak early game um, the attack speed shard, by the way, not the not the alacrity rune. I'm talking about the attack speed shard because if I had double adaptive in runes there, I would have killed that Nidalee no problem, and I wouldn't have had to dive under the tower for her. So like, I don't know, man. Every time I use the attack speed rune, it just it's moments like that that make me want to switch back to the double adaptive, and I guess that's probably the right way, the right thing to do. Um, I don't think there's any reason to run a double uh, attack speed runes. Um, you should definitely just run double adaptive. As good as the attack speed feels, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. So, that's about it, boys. Um, now I just want to try and secure this crab. And I want to just make sure I am kind of matching the nid in terms of pressure and everything. Because right now, I can't um, I can't really do anything. And I uh, saw her blue respawn and you know, sure enough, she's there. So that's some good information for me. Pretty much, that just tells me that all I need to do in this situation is just farm. Um, notice how I'm not level 6, and notice how I'm not actually trying too much to play for level 6. Uh, you could you can notice that I'm playing a lot more aggressively and in the river, so <clears throat> that's just kind of a switch up in play style that I've been trying. Um, because I'm kind of just sick of power farming, not gonna lie. <laughs> and I go for the Evolve Wings first, boys. It's time. It's time, we're going to be jumping all over the place. And we do get some nutty jumps in this game. Trust me, man. I think this is a really fun game to watch. I'm not going to lie. So, you know, take a look at all the nice jumps I have coming up soon. Um, and yeah, we will just go ham with the Evolved E. I mean, I don't know, like... Every time I'm like, no, I probably shouldn't Evolve E this time. I don't... It shouldn't... It shouldn't be good, but then I actually use it, and then it's just fucking insane. Like, every time I use Evolved E first, I always pop off with it. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter what competition. Or competition, sorry. Composition I'm against. Like, I just... It's so nice. I just think it's so nice. I, I, I have to disagree with anyone who thinks it's not that good. Maybe in some scenarios, it's like... Evolved E first is not, like, ideal. It definitely isn't, but man, if you know how to use this evolution, I think it's just so fucking nice. I think it's like the the bush jumping with Rengar. What separates good Rengars from bad Rengars is the way they can, you know, utilize the bush jumping and all that. I feel like that's super nice. And I think the same is with Kha'Zix and Evolved E. I think it really opens up a lot of creative plays and opportunities you can go for and that people really don't expect. And you'll see that coming up. But in the meantime, there's nothing else I can do. And Elow is just fucking double killing the top lane and mid, top lane and mid lane. So, uh, I mean, take those. Elow is a beast, apparently. And looks like she's good to execute herself here, which is nice. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to invade and potentially catch the Nidalee off guard. But um, something unfortunate happens here. I think she sees me. Did she see me? She should have seen me though, right? So that's why I just straight up went for her. I uh, ended up taking her. I ended up taking her Gromp there uh, just in case. Um, you know, I'll take that easy 100 gold from her. But I don't really feel like I could have killed her there, that's why I just went for the Gromp. 
I almost died there, actually. I feel like she could have killed me, but it's whatever. Um, now she's trying to contest for the crab. Too late. I already shoved it into a corner and murdered it mercilessly. We take those. <laughs> and um, we know she's going to go for my raptors here, right? Because I just used my jump and you know, all that stuff. So I stealth out here. Nearly just too fast and she jumps out. Uh, your name misses his ulti and I'm kind of just queuing her isolated. Bam, bam, bam. And all this comes along. Bam. Goodbye, Nidalee. Missed my W again. We take those. <laughs> and I'm being very careful here because I'm wondering if Malphite doesn't have ult. But if he did have ult, he would have used it by now. So I just decided to jump in. Uh, I jump in again uh, with the E resets and he has to flush out. So yeah, take those, man. Look at those E resets. Beautiful. Beautiful. Letting me contribute to a fight that I shouldn't be contributing in. Really. Like, that was just so nice. But it's moments like those, like the small little skirmishes you have with Evolved E. Fuck, man, it's feels, it, feels, it just feels so good. I'm sorry. I don't care what anyone says. I really enjoy this. I mean, I got to... I actually got to Challenger in Season 6 or something by running Evolved E second. No, Evolved E first. And Tiamat. So I don't know. I'm maybe going to try and revive that kind of playstyle again. Because I fucking love it. It's honestly one of my favorite playstyles and... Or item builds and I don't know man honestly I recommend you try it out for yourself uh, it's a lot of fun mainly just evolved E um, I don't really recommend the tier map rush that much uh, because after I played this game I was like hmm maybe I could do the exact same thing with you know just warrior and it's probably it probably is the case like I can definitely go for just a warrior power spike and then into tier map that's probably more ideal but I do get my warrior anyway <clears throat> and uh, you notice what I did with my skill points? I'm starting to max E. I'm not putting any points into W. Now this is crazy. Um, a lot of people ask me, why do I evolve? No, not evolve, sorry. Why do I put points into W and then max E? Uh, the reason is to lower the cooldown. And because I'm playing with E evolve here, I was just like, okay, if I'm going to be jumping a lot, and I'm just going to be like jumping in, jumping out straight away, and not really using W, then I'm just going to put points into my E. And see how that goes. Again, this is an entirely experimental game, and uh, so far it's working out pretty nicely. So uh, we take those. <laughs> All right. So I've got Harold here, and I decide to put it down. Eventually, come on, Tindus, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Okay. So put it down mid, and then I head down towards bot lane, and kind of just take the crab. Um, now it's just a matter of me like trying to push the lead. I mean, we're 3 and 12. We're so ahead. Like, it really doesn't matter. I'm just trying shit out. And so, oh, watch this. Watch this is juicy. Right? Big chaos coming. Oh, chaos into double jump onto the Lulu. Passive reset. Kill her. Uh, Kaisa finishes her off. Oh my god. Evolved E? Fuck, man. Oh, how, like, how can I do that if I don't have Evolved E? Someone tell me. Someone tell me. How, like, how? Please. Please, tell me that's not good, man. Holy shit. Like, that was actually so nice. I fucking love this evolution. I'm not gonna lie. I'll tell you something, well, a fun fact. When I first started playing Kha'Zix, the only evolution I would evolve first was E. I would evolve E first every single time. Without a doubt. And this was back when Q did bonus damage when you evolved it. So I was playing Kha'Zix without the bonus isolated damage from evolved q and i was just going straight into evolved e and then i would go into w and then i would finish it off with r man it was so good i'm not even joking i'm not even joking it was only until my friend told me that i should be evolving q that i actually started trying out q and it was kind of busted at that time so uh yeah i kind of stuck with evolved q but my very first moments of playing kazix were evolving e w r <clears throat> and it was so much fun. Like, I think that's what made me fall in love with the champion. Just the the jump resets. Now that I think about it, that's probably the case. <laughs> so my team is here and they are kind of just shitting on everyone. So I'm taking my time here and just split pushing down bot lane. I'm grabbing myself some nice experience and gold. Uh, I really don't know what's happening up top side. My team is just going crazy. But this is really what you should be doing. Uh, you should be, like, taking advantage of these opportunities, even if you're not there for your team to contribute uh, in the 
you know, in fights or anything, at least you're getting like towers, you're pushing the waves, you're applying pressure, and you're getting a lot of experience and gold. So this is like super nice for me. I think I just decided to, do I really decide to recall? I could keep pushing. I could keep pushing, yeah. I, I don't decide to recall, yeah. But then the Aries say, okay, this is stupid. Everyone look away. This is the worst jump ever. This is trash. Pure trash, okay? Hey, but at least I got the Dark Harvest stack, right? <laughs> okay, enough screwing around. Okay, I'll admit, the reason I jumped on that Ari there was only just because I wanted to test my damage. I'm not gonna lie, that's literally what I was thinking, okay? I'm not... <laughs> I swear to you, that was what I was thinking. Okay, so... Now... My team doesn't actually need me, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to run down bot and just kind of like push the wave and that's really about it like i am only really uploading this video because this was a very fun experimental game and so uh i don't really care about like um anything else other than that so yeah uh, i just figured it'd be nice and maybe i could open up a new like uh build for you kazix enthusiasts to try out or just watch and enjoy up to you i know some of you don't even play a league anymore so <clears throat> um, that's reassuring thank you for still watch still watching my stuff really appreciate it <laughs> and um now i am yeah that's it i just turned level 11 and i evolved w so remember when i said back in the day i used to go ewr that's pretty much what i was going for in this uh in this game but Really, the, the reason I evolved my W here is because I don't need Q and I don't need R. I have E, so that's enough. Um, I could go R, but then I miss out on huge utility from W. And so when I have W and E at the same time, I can both assassinate and be like a, you know, do my job. And I can also uh, peel with the W slow if I need to. So in my opinion, this is such a, oh, it's such a powerful evolution order. Right from the beginning of my time playing Kha'Zix, I felt like this was like one of the best EVO orders on him, even though literally no one took it. Um, but it's just such a huge mid-game power spike, I don't know. That's my opinion though. And now I'm just waiting. I'm trying to get information, maybe to see if my I can like grab anything on the map. Uh, try and go on this Ari here. I try and buffer my W, but it just narrowly misses her, I didn't calculate that. Uh, I thought she would dash a little uh, closer to me, but that's whatever. Still gonna play with my team now. Um, I'm kind of done split pushing, so we just kind of wait and play with our team. This is a very slow point in the game, and you'll, you'll see why. Their team is actually really potent if we kind of throw. Um, but I do fuck all damage to that Malfoy, and... Let's see, can we do anything here? No, I was about to get charmed, so I have to jump out. Uh, Malfoy's getting chunked down, but I still can't kill him because he has shitloads of armor, and I have no armor penetration, so... Uh, yeah, this, this build is entirely dependent on kind of just team play, and then... If an opportunity arises, you like... You jump in with your Tiamat, your Blue Smite, and your Dark Harvest, and you just kind of shit on... Shit on whoever, and then if you need to, you jump out, and so forth. Um, I... I feel, I feel like, I don't know man, Dark Harvest is, I don't feel like damage runes are that good. As you can see, it's only done 300 damage so far, and like, am I really going to sacrifice so much just to get that 300 damage over the span of 7 kills, like, hello? That's not very good. Alright, so I go for a jump in here, decide to fucking murder the Lulu. God damn, I hate Lulu players. Oh my god. Disgusting. <laughs> and um, so yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean when I, as I was saying, um, you kind of just wait for opportunities and you jump in with your Tiamat, Smite, Dark Harvest, and you just uh, kill them very quickly and then you can jump out straight away. So that's exactly what I did there. And in that scenario, it worked out pretty nicely. I feel like Dark Harvest is nice, but only in conjunction with other sources of damage. So I, 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 I definitely think it's good with Tiamat. And Blue Smite as well, it's very nice. Other than that, if you don't have any other sources of damage, I think it's kind of lackluster, uh, in my opinion. It's just not enough to warrant the taking the Keystone. That's my opinion after playing with it, but, you know, could be different. 
it's obviously like so good when you're very very ahead and uh, that's about it <clears throat> to each their own I mean maybe I could go hail blades with this setup as well but then I wouldn't have that tiny bit of extra burst I need to kind of secure kills with the dark harvest I don't know I don't know man it's I'm in, I'm on the I'm on the fence about it okay so Yone is actually getting collapsed on by three people and we're gonna go up here and kind of shit on them here so me and Nautilus coming up Kais is coming up we're about to fuck these dudes up uh, Nautilus it's a good cue on the mouth fight okay watch this E evolve baby we hit the double jump uh, we iso queued the Ari dodged the Nidalee spear Nautilus misses a Q2, but uh, Ari's just slowed beyond belief and I can cure her again for the kill. Oh my god, can I do this stuff with uh, Evolved R? No. Can I do this stuff with Evolved Q? Fuck no. I'm gonna evolve my A like every game now. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm so tired of like... Like being... I'm so tired of conforming to the meta. I kind of want to just use this Evolved A playstyle. Because I've found so much success with it every single time I play it. I'm not even joking. Every single time. It's just so good. Um, and obviously, yeah, we get the Baron. But yeah, man, I just... Re I really recommend you try this out. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's so nice. Especially with Blue Smite and Tiamat. If you can. I don't really think the Tiamat is necessary. But um, I'm, I'll have to play with it a bit more. But this is a very nice setup. Please try it out. <laughs> um, I'm really not into people who say, Hey, you should only be doing this. Lol, this rune sucks. This rune's fucking garbage. Don't run this. Try things out, man. Try things out. You're gonna get uh, destroyed by three people, and uh, in the meantime, we just take the dragon. But, yeah, as I was saying, you have to try things before you know what's good. Or bad. Um, and <clears throat> let me say that I have tried my fair share of Kha'Zix stuff. <laughs> like a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know. I just get bored of running the same thing over and over again. That That's me personally, but that's about it. So now it's just a matter of ending the game. Uh, the game will end soon. We have a... Uh, we have a huge lead and Baron buff. So all we really need to do now is kind of push down a lane. Pressure the base, and once we get into the base, it's pretty much over. My fight dies in the process, as you can see. I get spotted here. Um, unlucky, but I'm just kind of trying to play safe. Bro, because there is a Lulu, I have to play safe. That's pretty much it. Fuck Lulu, man. I hate Lulu. All my homies hate Lulu. Oh my god. If you are a part of Team Tengis, you will also hate Lulu. If you are a Kha'Zix player, by the way. It's like... Uh, that's about it. Okay, so Twitch is going mad, he's ulting here, sparing and praying. Kind of throw out a W just for safe measure. And now we just gotta push into the base with the Baron buff. Um, that's about it. I jump straight in. Lulu gets the ulti on the Twitch, but it doesn't really matter. All I wanted to do there was get a W slow off. And uh, sure enough, they baited out the Lulu ultimate, so that's nice, I guess. <laughs> Yone is going full anime mode on the uh, Nidalee. Gets absolutely murdered. Holy shit. And I think that's it. Um, sorry if it's not like the most interesting game, but I felt like I would just showcase this kind of <clears throat> play style I wanted to try out. So, you know, if you guys are feeling like it, give it a try. It's definitely a lot of fun. A lot of fun, man. I really enjoy it. And uh, I go for another double jump here. <laughs> but I died to the tower in the process. That's fine. Whatever. Who cares? We got that double jump off. Kind of. <laughs> um, my team almost trolls here and doesn't end the game but nah sure enough the game will end right now and that's about it thanks for watching guys like subscribe all that good shit and i will see you next time